Hey guys, Jeffrey with Ghost Town Gaming, and we are back exploring in World of Final Fantasy. I think we finally reached the end of the Dragon Scars, and we are heading into the Babel region, so we can go find us some dwarves. Lally lo! She said her town was north of here, didn't she? Yeah. Wait, I think I can actually see it from here. Oh, so something about that place makes my fur the crawl. I don't know what it is, but it gives me the heebie the jeebies. Yeah, well, that depends on how many, uh, uh how much of uh, the Final Fantasy VII events have or haven't let, uh, happened yet. Uh, excuse me, as to what'll happen there. And then we've got the random pools of magma everywhere. Hot boiling magma. All right, let's head to Nebelheim then. And I'm all for checking it out. Oh, this is Agrith, Agarthir. That's not Nibelheim. They fooled me. Guys, says. Well, this is a charming little town, but something feels kind of, I don't know, off about it. I can't quite put my finger on what it is. Hmm. I think it might be a good idea for us to keep a low profile around here. Why is that? Because... Oh, just do it! Oh, okay. Low profile, Tama. Okay, Roger the wheel, Cole. <laughs> we found a door. Oh, it's a door. Why it's are not those Nahus in Nibelheim still refusing to join the Federation? Once you join, you just put on a good show, raise your civic rank, and you're set for life. That sounds like a bad plan. You may be all for it, but I don't know. Huh? What do you want? Don't talk to me unless it's really important. Okay, then. There's something wrong with you. Oh, wrong one. I want this one. Krill's diary entry. Hi, guys. My mom said I should never talk to people from places that aren't part of the Federation. Well, she's dumb. I mean... Let us pray together for the day the Crimson Prophecy is fulfilled. Um, let's not. Religious fanatics. Uh, quest person. Hey, hey, did you know about the nimble mirages living in the desert? They're really fast. You mean cactus? I'd really like to run a race against them one of these days, but, well, they're mirages, right? I don't want to start a race with them only to have them attack me. So I was hoping you could check out how strong they are for me first. Oh, they're called cactuars. If you can defeat a handful of them for me, then I'll be able to tell how strong they are. Cool. All right, let's up this quest. Defeat three cactuar, 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 break to needle guys. We're gonna chase down three needle guys. Yeah, three needle guys. <laughs> And then we're going to catch one for myself. Because, you know, stuff for me. I need to become an architect so I can live a better, happier life. Oh my gosh, this hurts. Oh, these people. Oh. Oh. This is a sacred place. None may enter without authorization. Don't make me use Ifri to open the door. The I'll just knock the door down. Happiness lies with the crimson prophecy i highly doubt that's the case but you know what i'll let you do your thing i'm leaving hope oh. will it let me leave Woo! let me laugh leave left loofed oh my gosh english english dude who's the english hey is that nibble but that looks more like Midgar than Nibelheim. So, what the heck? Are you guys seeing this town? 
Yeah, that's where Tifa lives? It if you get confused during battle, you lose... You can bring a confused fighter to his senses. Here, I've got them. Cool. This guy's like doling out spelling like... Wood Hills look the humble. Yeah, see... <sighs> okay, that makes no sense to make... Um... Nibelheim look like Midgard, but okay, whatever. <clears throat> Fine. Be that way. Chapter 11. Crimson and Azure. Crimson and Azure. 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 And a guy with a barrel on his head. see any chain on the place well maybe they're like cornelia and they haven't been annexed by the federation good point sorry huh corn what it can't oh, be nice great memory <laughs> there hey there guys it is you right hey super yeah. punchy girl hi how are you doing tifa it's the good to see you same cool here point. Hey, I have to ask, what are two keepers and a mirage doing way down here in Babel? Oh yeah, I guess we never told you, did we? No, not really, we just kind of, you kind of punched somebody, and then we kind of just kept going. Oh good, I was starting to worry. What if I accidentally saved a couple of bad apples from the Bahamut army? It's weird, <laughs> why does everybody keep thinking that we're Bahamutian soldiers? I don't know. I guess they don't see many Mirage Keepers anymore, unless they're working for <coughs> the bad guys. Uh-oh, yeah. that's awkward. And not just Keepers, Giants too. These days, they all seem to be fighting for Bahamut. I guess it makes sense in a way. They say the Federation conquered their homeland long ago. Dude. Still, that's terrible. the prophecy is a homeland hot topic was... around Nibelheim. Everyone in town has heard of the Giants from the Hills. Uh... I'm not sure I like being a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you're looking for the Valley of Fire? Maybe. Unfortunately, that's the only real clue that we've got. The Valley of Fire. Everyone knows that bit, but no one's sure which valley is the right one. Wait, what? What do you mean? If you're looking for fiery valleys, this region is full of them. But that's well, just it. Any one of those valleys could be the one the prophecy well, this is talking is about. Great. Oh, right. I forgot there's a summoner in town doing research on the valley. She might know. Is Yuna here? Are we, like, chasing Yuna around? Great. No, we're not. That's Rydia. And there's, uh, her mist dragon. Okay. Cool. I'm okay with that. Hey, it's an inn. But I can't go in. I can't go in the inn. That's not fair. We don't need the Federation. We can get along just fine by ourselves. Okay. You show that independent spirit, you. Oh. Hmm. Weirdos. The Federation's mirages keep coming after this town. They won't leave us alone. Well, it's a good thing you guys can fend them off. Shop. Are you here to buy a dress? I'm sorry, but we're all out of the silk ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, um, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, that's a Final Fantasy joke. Uh, specifically Final Fantasy VII. Uh, specifically the uh, cross dressing cloud moment, uh, which, call me morbidly curious, but uh, I think that's one of the things I'm most curious about uh, in the Final Fantasy VII remake, is if they're going to still have that whole bit. And how that's gonna look? It, I think it's gonna be awesome, and mostly hilarious. And Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you, but I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Yes, you can you ask see, me a my favor. My grandson's birthday is coming up soon, and I was hoping to give him some dragon scales. Dragon scales for his birthday? Any chance you would be willing to bring me some? I'd be very grateful if you could. Weird gift, but hey. You would? Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Oh, and guess what? 
I already have them. Oh, Here you go. Thank you. My grandson's going to be thrilled when he opens his present. I know it's not much, but I hope you'll accept this as a reward. Sure. The Berserk Seed as a reward for getting her dragon scales for her grandson's birthday present. Who knew? Hey, Rydia. Let me introduce the giants from the hills. <laughs> yeah, that's us. Hello there. I am the summoner Rydia. Hmm? Something here is not right. Something about you. Hey, you know, the way that Mirage follows you, you totally remind me of Yuna. I guess it's because you're both summoners. Huh? You mean you know Lady Yuna? Yeah, she yeah, may have tried to beat us up. Back on the upper continent. She was really a lot of help to us. After she tried to beat us up. We would be here if Yuna hadn't pointed us in the right direction. Oh. Well then. I suppose you can't be all that bad. Just there you. Now. You hear that? These two say they're friends of Lady Yuna. That means you can trust them. For the time being, at least. Hey, and Ifrit and Shiva trust so me. let me get this straight. And so does Ramu. You're searching for the four keys recorded in the prophecy? Maybe. Yeah. We came to Babel because we heard one of the keys was hidden here, in a valley of fire. Right. But, you know, the keys are part of the Crimson Prophecy. Crimson Prophecy? So wait, you mean there's more than one version? Yes. There used to be a single prophecy, the Azure Prophecy. It only oh, spoke of prophecies sigils, confuse me and annoy and said me. nothing about keys. It was much more abstract. The Azure Prophecy is heresy! Uh, oh, this is stop no it. business of yours. Lies! Only the Crimson Prophecy is gospel! Oh, stop talking. Are you a summoner or not? You should pray that fate guides you to the Crystal Tower. The Crimson Prophecy wow. is clear. Wow, even their eyes are Flanked basically saying, I am brainwashed. The ones shall acquire four keys. From the Crystal Tower, they shall mount the heavens, where God will grant them the gift of eternity. So long as you know to look for the signs, the keys shall be found. So do as the Crimson Prophecy commands of you. Hmm? Okay, crazy people. Ugh, all you hear these days is that nonsense. Yeah, no kidding. At least they're not breaking any laws or getting violent, but it's still creepy. What do those fools know anyway? The Azure Prophecy was written by the first summoner. It's the Crimson Prophecy that came later. The whole thing is nothing but a sham. Still, that sham seems to be the prophecy folks believe in. Unfortunately so. That's why I came here to sort the truth out myself. Okay. Tell me then, why are you searching for the keys like the prophecy says? You see... As we recant the story. So you're telling me that your mother shares the same name as Lady Lucifarna? And you're looking for the Herald's Castle to find her. I get it. If you really are the giants from the hills, all you have to do is follow the prophecy, and you might wind up there anyway. Right. There's actually more to it. Someone told us we would find our family as long as we kept collecting mirages and pressing onward. Hmm. Well, whatever the case, it seems the only way to prove which prophecy is true is to accompany the two of you to the Valley of Fire. Okay. In a way, you'd be accompanying me and doing me a favor. What do you mean? Oh, never you mind. So, are we ready? What is uh, she looking are we for? Ready? We don't even know which valley to go to. I've already figured it out. The valleys of Babel are numbered, and I believe the one we are looking for is Valley Seven. Okay, so we're going to Valley right, Seven. Placey place. It's convenient that near Nibelheim, it's Valley Why are Seven. Entire names? Excellent. Excellent. All going according to my plan. Whatever my plan happens to be, which is not much. Not die. Not die is the plan. And perhaps it will succeed. For the most part. Yes. I knew that you'd talk to me. I was getting tired of just sitting around. 
Okay. Whenever a cute girl comes by, I use my psionic powers to try and get her to say hello. And for once, it actually worked. <laughs> You're crazy. Er, than the rest of them. And kind of scary. All right. So on our next episode, we're gonna go find the Valley Seven and search the Valley of Fire for a key or a sigil or whatever we're looking for. Prophecies suck. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give me a like. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys again next time. Have fun. Keep gaming.